So for two and a half years, I went on a drug trip. And it was horrendous. Drugs do not discriminate. They don't care who you are or what you're doing or what your status in life is or where you live or, you know, none of that. When you open yourself up to them, they're going to come in. So if you do that, then you're going to suffer the consequences of what goes along with it. And I did it for two and a half years, and I was a walking corpse. A friend of mine, his name is Leon Kennedy. He is one of my closest friends. And when I was doing the drugs like that, I was ducking everybody. I was single at the time. I wasn't calling people back. I wasn't answering the phone. I wasn't doing anything. I was just sitting there doing my drugs. So he came to my house one night. And he looked at me and said, man, he said, you look terrible. He said, I heard you were doing this, but I haven't been able to find you. And you've been ducking me. You don't ever duck me. And you've been ducking me. You've been ducking everybody. Why are you doing this? So I, I, I'm fine, man, you know, because you know, you're in denial and all that. You know, I'm, I'm fine. I'm cool. And no, you're not. He said, sit down. I'm going to pray for you. Pray for me? Yeah, I'm going to pray for you. He prayed for me probably five hours without stopping. <laughs> you know, just straight, without stopping. He just prayed for me. And he said, I'm staying here tonight, man, and tomorrow night I'm taking you to a prayer service that I go to. Okay, because I was done with me anyway. I could not stand me at that point. <laughs>